Genesis G90, not for long, but Kathy wants to make um, pancakes and bacon this morning. Vegan, vegan version. So uh, we don't have that that often. That's what we're gonna do. The stress level has been fairly high, as you can imagine, because Kathy has been sick for quite a few days now, and Isla's baby is going to be here any day. We have, have no idea, but it's right at that moment. It's been nine months of waiting around, and now we're just uh, about two inches away from that baby popping out, and she wants to feel good so she can go to the hospital, support Sean, and, um, and everything flow smoothly. And today is the first day where uh, she started to feel a little bit better. She might be on the vlog. A little bit later we'll see but it's a good sign if she wants to make breakfast um, uh, as opposed to sleep and uh, and just being you know overall pain then you know that's a good sign so let's talk about this Genesis for a minute um, as far as luxury cars go uh, you know there's there's a few luxury cars that I kind of like but this one in particular is pretty spectacular you know Genesis is branched off from Hyundai so it's it's Hyundai's luxury brand basically pretty much everyone's doing that Kia hasn't done that yet but they probably will but the ergonomics in this car the the design the functionality everything is is really rock solid it's quite an extraordinary piece in fact I've been driving around and uh, every 10 15 minutes I get a thumbs up or I get somebody you know making some kind of comment going what the what the hell is that this is it's still pretty new as an overall brand I mean it's been the, the name for a while uh, the g80 I've driven also and I'm getting that car in a couple weeks. I'll be able to show you guys that. Gas mileage on this, you know, uh, 1920. You know, it's not that not that great, but it is a, a massive luxury car. Uh, it'll be nice when these things go full electric. But I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. It's uh, it's got a really good design language. Um, it's evolving nicely. So uh, the interior, especially, I'll show you guys that in a little bit.
people often ask me how I get all these cars, how they, how the car companies, uh, why the car companies want to send me these cars and, and, and have me share them with you. And, and the thing about that is when you do what you love, when you immerse yourself in uh, a, a talent or a, a field or an area that you absolutely are passionate about, then things will gravitate towards you. Amazing things, interesting things will start to evolve and, and happen that are almost outside the scope of, of your, own, your own ability to touch them and, and to, to manipulate. I believe that strongly. I believe that the, the law of attraction or the, this, the science of giving or uh, gratitude, all those things have power. It's essentially one thing. And that one thing is love. It's our, our ability to put love into the world and the more that we do that, the more that comes back to us. The problem is that we, we put a lot of fear out there. We put a lot of anxiety out there. The one thing that I, I really enjoy, I really love, is cars. And I've always loved cars since I was a little kid. And, and uh, it was my dream as a kid to be a GM test driver. I just, you know, I just couldn't imagine that that life could be better than that. And I found out very soon that driving in a loop, you know, on a test track isn't necessarily all it's cracked up to be. It might be fun a few times, but not to do that for a living. And now I get a new car every Wednesday, uh, you know, and I drive around and show you guys and give you guys the skinny on those cars. And uh, that's just kind of what I do along with a variety of other things that I do here. Case in point, the Genesis G90, which was outside. It's no longer outside. Uh, an amazing car, incredible car. It's, it's kind of one of those dignitary cars, you know. I'm not sure that it, it would make sense for an individual to buy this car as an everyday driver because the back seats are so massive. There's so much room back there that it's it's definitely for a statesman or, or somebody that's some really kind of big VIP. Now that car has been replaced. I'm not really sure what the next car is. Shall we, shall we go outside and see what it is? Shall we go find out? There's not much more I can say about the G90. It's a phenomenal car. It's an incredible design, great design language. Uh, it's evolving. Um, uh, the 2019 model is going to be significantly improved. But I so appreciate you guys joining me on this journey, uh, checking out these things. And, and if, if I can help you in any way to make a decision on buying one of those cool cars, you know, I'm right here. Okay, and as a side note, Wheels and Waves is coming up in only two weeks. Um, it just seems like it just, it flips around so fast. We're going to be right back at it again. But I'm super stoked because my birthday is tomorrow. And actually, by the the time you're watching this, today is my birthday, so leave a comment down in the comment section. You can never have too many cool birthday wishes. Let's go check out what the car is. Not bad. Little Swedish love for the week. That works. <laughs>